Now in this lecture, I'm going to try and draw a repeat units for polyamides, and uh, this is one polyamide that we did as an example. So this is a polyamide. It has cedal bondo NH. These are amide links. Uh, so you have these amide links, cedal bondo NH, cedal bondo and NH. So you have all these amide links. These are polyamide. It's a polyamide chain. So I'm going to try and write the other representation of a polyamide, which is uh, I'm going to try and draw the repeat unit. So uh, if you have a if you have a polyamide chain, you can start at any point. Let's say I'm going to start uh, at this at this particular point. So I'm going to try and start at this point. So this here is the point where my where my polyamide chain is starting. So let's assume that that's the point where it's starting. So I'm going to uh, follow the polyamide chain and see where uh, at what point would this start repeating again. So as you reach this point, you can see that this CH3, CH3 uh, um, uh, group, they, it gets, it starts to repeat again. So you end it over here. This is your repeat unit because after this point, your chain is basically repeating again. So, you, so this is what you're going to do basically uh, if you're looking for a repeat unit and uh, you're looking for a more uh, concise notation. So I'm going to draw the repeat unit now. It's CH3, CH3. This is my continuation bond followed by C del bond O. Then I have an NH and which is attached to benzene. there's a benzene then again there's an NH followed by C double bond O and then there's another continuation bond so so this here is my is my repeat unit and I'm, and I'm going to write N where, which means that it's going to repeat N number of times so this is my repeat unit this is how you're going to draw uh, or write the other notation in terms of uh, uh, repeat units Let's do another example for drawing a repeat unit and I've uh, drawn another of the polyamides that we drew earlier. So this is a polyamide with the amide linkage, C del bond O. And in NH, uh, you have these links and it's C del bond O. So, so uh, all these monomer residues have been linked together by these amide links. Now I'm going to try and draw the repeat unit, which is uh, that I'm going to uh, start at any point. Let's start over here. So, so this is the point where my repeat unit is starting so this is the point where my repeat unit is starting and i'm going to follow the polymer polyamide chain and see where this thing uh, starts to repeat back again so if you look carefully uh, this repeat unit appears uh, after this it's this point after which it starts to reappear again so so i'm going to stop at this point so you could start any point but you're going to stop at the point where the repeat unit again starts to reappear so so my repeat unit in this case is and remember you can get many different types of uh, repeat units so there's a there's an nh this is the continuation bond which shows that the chain is continuing on the left hand side then you have c double bond o then you have c h with a methyl chain so c h3 then you have c double bond o after serial one you have NHCH2CH2 CH2, so let's write that it's NH followed by CH2 and another CH2 and then there's a continuation bond so this here is my repeat unit which is going to appear and reappear again and again in the chain so so I'm going to write N where N is the number of times this repeat unit is going to repeat so so remember one thing you um, Repeat units could be of different types for the same polymer. It depends on where you start. If I had started at this point, then I would be ending at this point. If I had started at uh, this particular point, then I would be ending at this point. So, so repeat units could vary as long as uh, they make sense. As long as your repeat unit is the is the part of the polymer chain that continues to repeat again and again.